let's take a walk and enjoy one of the cheapest, healthiest and most inexpensive pastimes never invented. We've earned the freedom from the city and learned a few things too. There's a nice line of conduct among ramblers which makes a jaunt enjoyable not only for themselves but for those who come after. Shutting gates and keeping to the path are two little points in the rambler's code that should always be observed, so please take notice. Removing any litter after the feasting is another unwritten law in the pursuit of pathology. And good ramblers always leave the scene just as they found it. In rambling, especially on short journeys, brevity is the soul of kit. And it's always as well to have a little air between shoulders and rucksack, if it otherwise fits snugly. For long weekends, a larger frame type of rucksack will be more comfortable. To make the when justify the means, it must be off the beaten track. Much of England's glorious countryside can only be enjoyed through a hedge gap, along that field path or down that lane. And don't wear silk stockings, says Tom Stevenson, open-air correspondent of the Daily Herald. Since feet are very much in evidence, footwear is another important consideration. Good quality leather boots and shoes with reasonably stout soles, the feet encased in woolen socks are the order. Rubber shoes can be treacherous in wet weather. A few light hobnails are an advantage even for easy walking. Heavily nailed boots are advisable for rough mountain work. But on downs, there's so much useless iron. So choose your boot to suit your route. We are now at the top of Leith Hill, one of Surrey's most famous beauty spots. As for maps, you can't beat the Ordnance Survey. They're absolutely reliable and show all those off the highway haunts the true rambler loves to explore. Be a rambler and enjoy life. 